Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. I'm gonna film this video just real quick and upload it real quick because it is time sensitive for a limited edition light that is on sale. You've probably seen it everywhere because Olight likes to send lights out to a lot of people. But what it is, is the Olight PL2. This is a little 1200 lumen weapon light. I'll show it on a bunch of guns. Cliff Notes, if you want it, it's on sale. I, I forget exactly, it's like, 25% off if you get one and 35% off if you get two when you get another free gift or something I don't know. I'll put the information right down below in the video description So if you want to buy it go get it. I don't know that it will sell out, but Anyway, so that's the cliff notes if you want that that's kind of the announcement I'm gonna go a little bit more into the light talk about some other stuff like I got some new hats and and yeah, so stick around if you want more, but that's that's the main, that's the bulk of the announcement. Oh, the other announcement, yeah, the other part two of it is I'm giving one of these away. So Olight sent me one for me to use myself, and they sent me one more to give away to you guys. So if you don't know, I have a Patreon account. I do a giveaway every single month to anybody that's a 556 level Patreon over there. So... I do giveaways every month on the first of the month. If you're a Patreon on the first of the month, you automatically get entered into the giveaway. This month I'm giving away a limited edition PL2 FDE and I'll give away some other stuff. Maybe I'll give away a hat, I don't know. I always give away just kinda like some random stuff, usually like one main item and then some other random stuff. So I do a live Patreon live for only patrons where I announce the winner of the giveaway. And yeah, so good, good month to get in if you want this light or if you want a hat. Also, whenever I release new merch that's limited edition, like all these hats are gonna be, I got these in a handful of different colors and styles and stuff. I got some flat bill snapbacks as well. Anyway, I do announce to patrons first when the hats become available. So if you're a patron, you for sure get one. Otherwise, they may sell out before you get a chance to get one. So if you like giveaways, if you like merch, if you like private kind of live chats with patrons only where there's not a bunch of people and you can just get any question you want answered, go check it out, patreon.com slash LLOD. I'll put info down below as well. All right, so last time there was a limited edition run of this light, the Olight PL Mini, which is my EDC light of choice. I love the size, I love the controls, I love that it has a little magnetic charger on the bottom. I love that I can swap it to different guns if I want to. I make and sell holsters as well, LLOD.US. If you are into holsters and you are into the PL Mini, I have this thing, a little port here that allows you to charge it while it's holstered. It's great. Uh, there's been some other companies out there copying the design, which is, it's cool, because I didn't patent it, so it is what it is. But anyway, I make holsters for that. I don't make holsters for the PL2 yet because it hasn't become quite as popular. But let's talk about it a little bit. PL Mini sold out. I got at least, I mean a few dozen, maybe a hundred emails and questions and comments. People asking how they could get one of those after it sold out. Olight told me, I don't know if they're gonna stick to this, but Olight told me that since they said it was a limited edition, the only time you could get it, that's never coming back. So you can't get the PL Mini and FTE anymore, which means it's kind of like a collector's item. I haven't looked on eBay. I'm guessing people are selling them on eBay probably for more. So anyways, this might be an investment, or it might not. But the PL2 is a weapon light that I've had for a while. I actually like it. I have this truck gun here. Sorry, I set my good camera in, and now I'm using my old camera, which is okay, but the focus isn't as awesome on it. I dropped my camera when I was out shooting and I think I jacked something up with it. So I sent it in for repair, so I'm using my backup camera. This is the PL2 on a pistol. This is an AR pistol. This is my low cost, relatively low cost truck gun, which I'll be reviewing at some point in the future. It's a 300 blackout. I really like this light on it because, keeping with the theme of it, it's low cost and it's pretty powerful at 1200 lumens, though it's kind of a directed beam, and this isn't a review of the PL2, maybe I'll do a review of it down the road, but it it, it works well, I think, on a, a rifle or a rifle caliber pistol as well. But it's really designed as a pistol light. So here it is, this is an FTE Glock, but for those of you that know FTE Glocks, they're more like Coyote, so it's not quite the same color, as that, 
It's maybe more similar. Now this is an OD green Glock. This is a Glock 17. It's very similar, but as we know, people that are Glock guys know, that OD green Glocks are more like FDE, really. And then you have, <laughs> this is Battlefield green Glocks, which is more like an OD. Anyway, that's kind of the quick rundown of it. But let's show you it compared to a couple other lights. Here's a Streamlight TLR-1. Very similar in dimensions to a TLR-1. Not identical. The bezel, as you can see, is a little smaller. This is like a bronze or something, TLR-1. So that's not an FTE. Here it is compared to an uh, old Enforce FTE that I have here. So the Streamlight TLR-1 is 800 lumens. This is 1200 lumens. The brand new X300 is 1000 lumens. And quite a bit bigger, longer than the PL2. Here is a Surefire in FDE. So you can see the colors are a little different there as well. And let's just kind of toss it on a few guns here. Here's an M&P M2.0 four inch compact. That's what it's looking like on that. Here it is on a Glock 19. The color is actually really close to, this is kind of a worn out uh, burnt bronze. So the color is pretty similar to that. All of these guns have been clear beforehand as well, if you're wondering. Here it is on a CZ P10C. I just grabbed a bunch of guns, all the like kind of the various guns I had uh, quick access to. Here it is on a 1911, a gorgeous Nighthawk Agent 2 1911. And then here it is on one of my newest GATs, Glock 34. Okay, so that's what it looks like on some guns. Real quick, 2CR123 flashlight, uh, it is kind of similar to the Inforce switches, if you're familiar with that. Tap it to go on, or long press it for momentary, if you wanna do that. That is the same way that the PL Mini works as well. Tap it for constant, hold it for momentary. This does have one other feature where you can hit both sides at the same time and it goes into strobe mode. So that's the light, it does have a little quick detach lever, which is really nice for tossing it between guns. Maybe you have a pistol, carbine, rifle, SBR, whatever that you wanna to toss this on, and you also wanna to toss it quickly onto a, a handgun. This is definitely the quickest mechanism out there for doing it. It's pretty low profile, especially on this bigger light. It sticks out a little. Some people complain about it on the PL Mini, because it definitely, sticks out on the PL Mini, but on this light, if you can tell, it's pretty much flush. So I think the QD makes a lot of sense on this light. There's not a lot of holsters out for this light right now. I don't make one either. Uh, I may in the future, maybe if the sale goes big and a ton of people buy them and it kind of introduces this light more into the mainstream, maybe, uh, but right now I don't. This is not rechargeable like the PL Mini, which is kind of a bummer, but it does take CR123s like pretty much any other weapon light out there. Does come by default with the little Glock rail, which as you can see works on pretty much most guns as well as works fine on a Picatinny rail on a rifle. Uh, I believe it comes with one other like universal insert as well. And yeah, that's, I think that's all I'm gonna talk about because it's not really this isn't a review, I just wanted to get the announcement out quick. The sale goes from, if you're on the notification squad, sorry, the sale goes from, if you're on the notification squad and watching this right when I upload it, it's going on right now for the next like two days. I believe it's till the 31st of, 31st? I'm not even sure. I should probably look at this, but it's like for a few days. So if you wanna get it on sale, limited edition, jump on it now. Use the link below, that link is an affiliate link if you feel like supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. If you don't believe in free content and then supporting the people that give it to you, that's cool too. You could just go to Olight, I don't even know the website. 
<laughs> just Google Olight and you'll find it though. Olight store, olight.com, or I don't know what it is. But anyways, you can just go there direct if you don't want to use the affiliate link, but I do appreciate you using the affiliate link if you use it. Again, first of every month, giveaways on Patreon. This month is gonna be the Olight and some other stuff. Also, if you are want a hat, I have some of these. I have a woodland one, flat bill snapback, a multicam black one, flat bill snapback. I have a multicam black one that is a unstructured hat, and then this is a regular multicam. I have a couple colors of the logo with the uh, trucker style. Anyways, patrons get first dibs on those as well. So yeah, I think that's it because it's kind of late. I need to get this video uploaded because I think the sale's already going on now and I have work to do. So yeah, until next time guys. Thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below if you have an Olight or if you've had experience with Olights. You guys have seen Olights on the channel, but I like surefires and streamlights and enforces. I like all kinds of lights. So I'm not sponsored by Olight. I have no affiliation with Olight. Olight doesn't pay me any money to make these videos or do these promotions, but like it's a limited edition and there was so much interest in the limited edition PL Mini FTE and so many people that wish they jumped on that and didn't that I wanted to make this video for you guys so you could not miss the boat. Uh, the PL Mini or the PL2 is a, a good light. X300, great light also. TLR1, great light also. So, I mean, if you have those other lights and don't want a different light, then whatever. But if you want to get this one, I like it as like a home defense. Sorry, I said I was going to be finished, but this is a good like home defense light for a gun that you keep like in a bedside safe or something like that. If you just want a low cost, solid solution performer, something that might not need a ton of holster options yet, but there may be more holster, there will be more holster options in the future for sure. But if it's something like that or to put on a long gun, because it has a relatively low, relatively low profile, good for, good for putting at 12 o'clock and still having clearance with like a lower one third mount like this. Activation on a pistol isn't bad at all. If you do thumb over bore like this, sorry for the focus is going crazy here. If you do thumb over bore, like this, you can activate it on this side, or if you kind of grip it more like this, you can activate it on this side. Sorry, yeah, this camera is freaking out. Okay, that's it for you. This video is already longer than I wanted it to be because I, I got a problem with rambling. Anyways, guys, take care.